It's Boys of the Most Toys coming at you again today with something really cool. It's the third Insecticon from the original season of G1 Transformers, and this time it's Bombshell. And Bombshell is a bull weevil or beetle. I can't remember what he is anyway. Uh, he comes with this nice little gun here. You can see he is like his friend Shrapnel. He is a big brick. He has wheels to pay homage to the original, but they don't really roll well because he's very back heavy here. You can see here he will transform pretty much the same as the original toy and I'll just show you the, the front or the top which you know you'll see in robot mode so transformation fairly simple let's get to it first thing we want to do of course is rotate him around and we want to take what will become the forearms in robot mode out of the way I'm going to separate these legs and move them at about a 45 degree angle so that they will clear the waist plate, turn them around. Oops, we just lost his toe. That's why we have to um, make sure we have enough clearance so the toe doesn't pop off there. We want to push down on these ratchet joints so that we'll lock them in place. So can you see that? I'm going to back him up for you guys. Okay. So you can see, like the original toy, he's almost done already. You want to pull out the uh, insect arms to the side, or up a bit, rotate them however you like. And then you want to take this whole head assembly of the, of the beetle mode, pull it down, pull it down again, and then you're going to take the robot head here and just turn it around to face the audience. And that is about it. So you can see here, lots of posability, lots of ratchet and ball joints. This guy's fairly sturdy. And I have to say, I didn't own this one as a child, but he may be the favorite one that I've done out of Lego so far. So he does have my old school hands using, um, what's the word? Those little spiky pieces. And you can just slide his gun there. And close his hand up, maybe. There you go. So all in all, I'm very happy with this guy. I think he's turned out the best out of the three. And I uh, hope this inspires you to build your own crazy creations out of a Lego as well, whether they be Transformers or not. Don't forget to check this guy out on Flickr and on Mock Pages as well. And if you're a Lego builder and on Facebook, you can join our um, Lego Builders group. That link will be in the the description below. Until next time, everyone, happy building. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.